Senex Technology and the First Look Sensor present Louis Nelson from Advanced Training Systems. In the following video, Louis will demonstrate how to quickly determine the mechanical integrity of an engine using the First Look Sensor. Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at the First Look Sensor from Senex Technologies. To help us improve beyond just our scan tool and code capabilities, Let's take and use our lab scopes connected to this tool and watch the mechanical function of the engine. With some basic information, we can see mechanical misfire conditions in today's modern engine. So let's get started. Now that we've acquired our first look sensor, let's take a look at what comes with the kit. Here we have our sensor attached to our exhaust probe hose. It'll fit into our exhaust system when we're testing. You also get your owner's manual with full directions capability. You have your chart for your time frame. This is very critical. You're going to use this when connecting your lab scope and timing the event so you get the proper number of cylinders per event. So let's get started. Let's go hook this up. Let's make some money. There's not one scan tool on the market that can give you what we are about to show you. In the following presentation, we will show you the many advantages of using the First Look Pulse Sensor. The First Look Pulse Sensor tool is used to investigate and identify abnormalities of normal rhythms as air moves causing patterns to shape. Let's start with the fuel pressure regulator on a GM product. The fuel pressure regulator uses a diaphragm design to increase fuel pressure up to 10 PSI under load, low vacuum conditions. Connecting our first look to the vacuum port of the sensor with no vacuum applied, we can observe pressure changes in the fuel rail while running or cranking. Here we will disconnect the vacuum line. Next, we will connect the first look to the vacuum connector of the fuel pressure regulator. Here you will see the tool connected. In this chart, we illustrate cycling key on conditions. The fuel pump is working to build fuel pressure. Next, we turn the ignition key on. Does this waveform look familiar? It should. It looks just like a fuel pump current waveform. We are not looking at amperage here. This is the key on fuel pump pressure waveform. What we are seeing here are the pressure pulses created by the vanes in the spinning fuel pump. With bad patterns, it's common to see a very hashy type pattern. Another very useful advantage of owning and using the first look sensor is to test the injector flow possibilities through an injector. Fuel pump pulses are broken in pattern to allow a drop in pressure to be seen when an injector fires. This can be seen while cranking as well as running. Just because an injector pulses in the injector circuit doesn't confirm that the injector is delivering fuel. But with this test, you are confirming fuel delivery. Note that the three injectors on the closest rail to the fuel pressure regulator are larger in size. The three farthest injectors are smaller. In other words, the distance of the injector's proximity to the fuel pressure regulator will show a different waveform drop to best represent the hydraulic changes in the fuel rail. This is really cool. Represented here is an injector that has no flow. Number three, or the third injector, has no pressure drop compared to its companion injectors. This allowed the technician to see the mechanical failure of the injector when electrical pulse may be normal. So, we time the event to the ignition pattern to help ID the injectors in their firing order. Here, we run a test on a 2005 Pontiac Grand Prix 3800. To better identify an injector's location in the waveform, we use the firing order of ignition. Then, we add a trigger source. This allows us to ID each injector a necessary procedure when looking for possible misfires caused by the fuel delivery system. Can a no-start condition be diagnosed by using the first look tool connected to the fuel pressure regulator? Absolutely. Let's see. In this image, we show the engine cranking using a lab scope connected to the first look. Triggered to secondary ignition and sampling from the fuel pressure regulator, we can see that the fuel pump never came online. 
That means there is no fuel pressure, but there is a waveform caused by the vibration of the injector electrically pulsing and trying to drop fuel even when there is no fuel available. This is by far the quickest, easiest, and most cost-effective diagnosis to perform. Although there is no pressure in the fuel rail, there is a vibration from the metal the rail is made of. The injectors are pulsing and the ignition is firing. This diagnosis leads to no fuel pressure causing the no start. What a tool! This is a fantastic product. With this tool, you can do compression testing from the tailpipe. With this image, we show a normal cranking exhaust test. How do we interpret this waveform? Simple. First, by cranking the engine, we are pushing air through the engine and out of the exhaust pipe. Next, we can expect the speed and our rate of pulses to create a pattern due to the design of the engine. If this pattern repeats itself continuously with no abnormalities, then we may conclude a normal pattern is seen here. As this image shows, the number of cylinders represents the number of pulses. Consult the first look timing chart when a quick calculation is needed to help figure out RPMs. Adding ignition events to the pattern can allow us to see if the frequency of the pulses are in time with the mechanical alignment of the camshaft and crankshaft. Remembering that exhaust pulses will occur between ignition events. Shifting from ignition to exhaust pulsation and updating cylinder IDs in the firing order to help with the diagnosis can assist the technician with identifying a mechanical problem with a cylinder or a bank of cylinders. Remember the four cycles and order in which they occur, first being the power stroke and then the exhaust stroke and the intake stroke, and finally the compression stroke. This includes the ignition event. This is one of the best tools for performing this function. In this example, we use a running four-cylinder engine and are identifying exhaust pulses from the tailpipe. This is a good waveform. Most technicians don't realize that in all even-numbered cylinder engines, there are two pistons at the top of the block at the same time for balance purposes. This means one is on the compression stroke and the other is on the exhaust stroke. This is why DIS ignition works, and also the reason that the firing order of the ignition is 180 degrees off of the exhaust pulses. Another great reason to use the first look sensor. So let's wrap up. If you're using the PicoScope, the software is already in the tool, it's on your laptop, and it works beautiful with this particular product. If you have the new touch from OTC Bosch, you can also use their PC-based touchscreen 3857 scope. That works wonderful with this product as well. And the Fortrace Varus from Snap-on. I want to thank you again for spending time with us. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have questions for Mr. Nelson, he can be reached by using the information shown here. Please visit our website as shown to get more information about Cenex technology and the first look sensors, including how to obtain the sensor kits and manuals for performing diagnostics on either spark plug or diesel engines.